Hi guys and welcome back to my food, Nicolas food, my food island way. I hope you are well and um, safe and yeah and happy and have a good week. Um, I'm just gonna start cooking some stuff. I like can see here um, some strange looking things. <laughs> okay, today I'm going to cook you um, an eel. See that eel? We'll smoke it and cook it uh, and um, clean it, not smoke it, I just clean it and um, with hot water, boiling water and clean it all up and um, yeah, and fro froze it. So I just took this out of the freezer and defrost it overnight. I'm going to make some, some pumpkin here, I'm going to make uh, a creamy pumpkin eel. I'm going to add an eel in here. So I've got some pumpkins, I've got some ch uh, chicken Maryland. I'm going to cook that with some corns, a bit of pepper on top. Okay, but first I have to do, um, I have to put my, sorry about the chair, I have to put my eel in the oven to cook it. I'm going to cook it in the oven with a bit of oil, pepper and garlic. Well, might as well start, going, start doing it, what are we talking? <laughs> so you guys are all well? It's hot outside now. The rain is finally stopped. Just some garlic. I'm going to add a bit of garlic to flavor our eel. What is going in the oven? Because my hands are getting really soft and tender. <laughs> I'm touching everything, you know. Got a box of club there. Okay. You can even throw it with a skin in it. I'm just gonna cut it roughly, the garlic. That's just for the flavor of our eel. Cut it up rough. And we just put it in there, down the side, down the middle. Okay, all I'm going to add in this is a bit of salt, a lot of salt, because the eel is freshwater eel. See, this is better than the one that comes from the ocean. The ocean one is really um, full of bones, but this one is no bones, just one middle, middle bone in the middle. Okay, salt there. And a bit of pepper. And in the middle of that, because all the oil is going to come out of the ear. And then mix with that flavor. And this is going to go in the oven. There's a black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fish sauce. Easy and simple cooking, guys. Bit of oil. You can use any oil, olive oil. You can even use coconut oil. But it has got a lot of oil too. Natural oil come out of it. Now, okay, guys, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Oil, and I'll be back in a minute. Pumpkin. I'm gonna cut it and put it in the oven. Beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. By putting it in the oven, it's going to be easy to, to put it in a pot and turn it into a creamy soup. But baking it in the oven is giving extra flavor to it. Maybe I use one pumpkin and a half because they're small ones. Sorry for the noise, guys. Got the air off. Okay. Let's wipe the seats out. 
Don't throw away this rubbish. If you've got a beautiful garden outside, you put it in the garden. If you have natural pumpkin, grow it. So nice to cook in here, especially with the heat outside. Yeah, our eels in the. We went in there and catch some more eels from Penrith River. It's beautiful too. Eels are beautiful. If you look up on the best fish meat you could, could get, the eels are up, freshwater eel meat up there with the best fish you can, you can eat. So don't be scared to try anything, guys. I just told my kid, you know, when things are bad and the only thing you can could get to eat is an eel, well, oh, well you've got to learn how to get it and yeah, learn how to enjoy every food. Got a pumpkin there, guys. I'm going to just making a creamy pumpkin eel soup. Yeah. A beautiful color in that pumpkin, eh? I've got a pumpkin, or an always pumpkin, or watermelon, or rock melons growing outside my garden. Because everything I, I use in the house, in the cooking, I put it in a garden. And you find it all the tomatoes growing, everything. You don't have to buy it from a shop and try to grow the seeds. Naturally grow out of your garden when you put things outside. Every time I cook, I always have a music in the back of my head. I feel like singing it. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough. Last piece. Try to fit it in there. And not to worry about overload the tray because it's all gonna. Okay, guys. Little salt. I need to say just a white salt, but I don't think any other salt unless a pink salt from the you know, get the black pepper, that's all you need, get the oil. Okay, I'll go in there until it's cooked, and then get it out and spoon it in our pot. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hi right, guys, um, I've got our eels, our eels and um, our pumpkin in the oven. It's halfway there. I've got um, chicken Maryland. I've got four of them because it's only a small family here. Then I've got some nice skinny carrot. I'm just going to cook that whole with skin. Just give it a good wash. Put it there under the... Okay, I've got that um, there, and I've got some corn, fresh corn. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it. Oh, going to make a lot of noise. Start in there. The chicken will give it a flavor to the carrot and um, the corn and um, the corn will give the flavor to the chicken it'll be nice and cooked 
Put it all in there. Come up with a nice flavor of the chicken. Put it on top. Put the chicken on top. Anywhere you can. Okay. And I'm going to add a bit of salt. Just going to salt it up. Bit of pepper. Bit of dried garlic. And nutmeg. A little bit, just a flavor of the flavoring our chicken and our corn. Not a thing come out. Okay, some smoked paprika. Just a sprinkle on top of our. Not too much. We're just adding flavors here, guys. Not too much of anything. Little bit of everything. Now, our oil. Bit of oil running on top. Nice olive oil. Okay, that's our chicken and our corn and our carrots. I'm gonna let it sit over here until the pumpkin and the eels coming out. Okay, guys, this is done. And later on, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna build some nice small potatoes and I'm gonna add coconut cream in it. Coconut, mm -hmm. yum, yum. I'm hungry already. Just thinking about the See how eels cooling down? And I'm thinking about to pick the meat off it. And see when it's cooked, it's so easy to pull that pull that fin out. See that bone on the side? I like to keep the skin. See the bone, uh, the fin, that's the only bone on the, on the eel. It's um, the bone on the fin and the bone in the middle. And the whole thing will be boneless. Okay, I'm going to start picking the meat out of this. And this meat's gonna go into our, the eel's meat's gonna go into our, what do you call it? Our pumpkin. See, it's so easy to pick the meat out. Yummy. It smells so delicious in here. Maybe I just use my hands. I'm going to pick all this meat and put it in a bowl and get rid of the bone. There's one bone in the middle and that's all. All it is a bone in the ear. Fresh water here. Okay, I'm going to do this guys and I'll be back in a second to show you. Alright okay, guys, um, I think I don't want you to miss out of fun so I'm going to do it in front of me. Meat is so fatty. Very fatty meat. I'm going to have to do it without you. <laughs> hey guys, um, our pumpkin is ready. Just come out of the oven. It's cooking really nicely. Nice and um, baked. Here's our eels. I ready to clean it on out. Get rid of the bone in the middle and keep the eels. Beautiful. Cover it up. Our chicken there and the corns and it's still not going in the oven yet. And our potato here, I'm gonna cook it with just some coconut cream. Okay, I was gonna wait for this to get cool down, but I think I'm gonna just get a flash now into the 
It's in a book. It's much easier to work on it when it's cool down. Good. Can work. <laughs> Get all that pumpkin in. It just come off the skin very easy. Look guys, got pepper salt on it already. It's a matter of um, taking it out now and flash and put it in a uh, pot. We're ready to make our creamy pumpkin eel soup. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna take my time because it's still hot. New gloves. I change my glove all the time by doing different things. Okay guys, we'll be back in a second. Need it out guys. Yeah pumpkin's cooling it down now so it's much easier to work with it now. Yeah, it comes with a song. <laughs> Beautiful pumpkin. Don't waste it. And that rubbish it could go into our cotton. Wonderful for you song is that I think was um, not really Davita I think it's uh, somebody else okay guys there's a pumpkin for our soup pumpkin creamy soup then we'll get rid of all this and start doing our soup on the stove be back in a second hi guys I cut up two red onions and I'm going to blend it up to fry it with our eels to put it in our our what do you call it? our pumpkin pumpkin soup simple look you can have that for um, dessert <laughs> no, 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 that's an onion red onion okay I'm gonna start our soup now our chicken and uh, vegetables in the oven already welcome back guys our pumpkin is here I've got a fry pan for our to fry off our onions and our our eels. Okay, let's turn this on. Our stove. Okay. Put some boiling water. You can add any juice, uh, beef stock, 
um, chicken stock or fish stock if you want but I'm just using water making a pumpkin soup This our pumpkin is already cooked, we just need it to turn into a soup now. Let's just see a bit of skin in there, but that's alright. It's alright. Okay, I'll turn this one on. Check it. And I'm going to put a bit of oil. Nice flavor. Just going to heat that oil up. And I'll keep my eye on our pumpkin. But I use this and squash. You can use them when you set machine, that blender in goes in the pot, but I'm happy with this. In a delicious soup. And our fry pan's heating up. Our chicken and vegetables in the oven. With potato, I'll put a potato on. It'll take only five minutes. Because they're tiny little potatoes. Yeah, let's let that soup boil. But I'm gonna add in there a bit of coconut to make it coconut cream to make it creamy and give it extra flavor. My knife is not cutting. For some reason, I need to shut them up. There you go, I add a bit of coconut cream in there. That's just to make it creamy. You don't have to add a coconut cream, you can add fresh cream if you if you like. I already got pepper in there, pepper on the ears, salt, garlic, a lot of flavor. So start one, okay. Let that pumpkin picking up. Okay. Our onion. The one I blended up. I love this machine. Let's pull it. And all of this is just fried it off. The onion, red onion off. I'm using the same spoon I'm stirring the thing, and that's all right. I just need to fry the onion. And at the same time, I'm cooking the pumpkin off. Just need to mash it up. If you want to make it chunky, you can make it chunky. You know, leave a chunk of pumpkin in there, but it doesn't matter. It still tastes the same. But I'm going to mash it up. I'm just gonna have to get that pumpkin skin off that's annoying me. Yeah, this fries beautifully, guys. It fries as long as you want the want that onion to bring all that flavour. Out. Mm, still still on. Oh, 
when you use the same food, you can use the same spoon. Doesn't matter. And these gloves, guys, I get uh, you can go to what do you call the chemist and buy a big box of gloves. It's cheap, but um, it's more than having 150 pairs in there. So you can use it in the cooking. Just getting rid of that little black skin. Got the air condition behind me, guys. That's why the steam is blowing your way. Oh, yeah, started to speak now. Oh, pumpkin soup. It's freaking it up. See, I've got chunks in there. That's a lot of water in, um, in onions, and that's why it takes a while to fry them. But it doesn't matter, it's not going to burn. Back in a second, guys. Welcome back, guys. Um, and you see all the oil I put in here is all gone, and the onion still fried. And see, it's more color coming on the uh, onion once it start cook. Okay. I'll open our ears. I always cover things up. There's no flies in my house, but it's always better cover when you I'll add our ears. See, it's a bit of oil from the ears in there. Mm -hmm. okay, just a little frying it off. Put the onion in there to give it all that flavor. And bring the oil back out of the ear. And we're just waiting for our curry to curry pumpkin to um thicken up have to put a lid on it because it keeps spraying it building up my table They're looking beautiful i'm going to leave it a little bit longer i want it thicked this up just made of adding this ear in there and our onions so one of the one okay we'll be back in a minute stove off and now I turn the pumpkin down a little bit now we're adding our ear into it And all the onion. Mm -mm. Okay, just stir it around. And all the oil, natural oil from that ear. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt because the pumpkin is very sweet. And same as the ear. Get it up high again. Oh, see, it's spreading up again. Okay, really careful with um, what do you got? With a pumpkin because when it's fricked, it's spit. Okay guys, that's it. 
Hello, you is done. Pumpkin is done. A creamy pumpkin heels. There you go, it's done. Our potatoes on the stove in the kitchen. And our chicken and vegetable is nearly ready. Just two minutes. No curry, um, creamy pumpkin eels, a chicken with uh, corn and carrots, and our potatoes with coconut cream and red, red onions. There you go, that's a pot of pumpkin creamy eel. Look at those eels in there. And look at that chicken. Beautiful, cook, not moisture. Hi hey guys, thank you so much. Um, our table is served, but um, it's too early in the afternoon. I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just showing you our food and um, what I was making. That's our um, eels pumpkin fix um, creamy soup pumpkin that's our chicken with our vegetable our corn, our carriage and all garlic and flavors in there this is our potato fatly for pakeka um, potato with coconut cream and uh, red onions yeah what else you need <laughs> with a glass of wine cheers guys I'm not eating because I'm not feeling like eating it <laughs> It's just too early in the afternoon, so yeah, have a couple of glasses of wine and then maybe eat it later. But I tell you what, guys, I'm t I test all of them when I'm cooking. Beautiful, just yum. That eels is so much flavors in it. I ate most of the skin when I'm cleaning it up, taking the meat out. <laughs> it's almost like a pork skin, but it's not crunchy like a pork skin, but it's like leathery. Little joy with full of fat. Yum. <laughs> there you go, guys. A little cooking for the afternoon. And um, who knows? It might turn into a dinner. Because I think I have enough cooking for the day. <laughs> Thank you for so much for your time. Just watch me cooking. I wish I could share it, all the, every food with you. Because it's beautiful when you have people. A lot of people to eat with. That's what I love about family time. <laughs> family things. And there's no more lockdown. So we will get together with a family again and yeah, and have fun. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your subscribe and thank you for your sharing my page and with your family and friends. And cheers. I will see you in the next video on the weekend. This is the middle of the week. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Take care guys. Much love and God bless you and your family. And please stay safe out there. We open up now, doesn't mean we're gonna go crazy. Just take it easy, keep putting that mask on. <laughs> test yourself, test the kids. And yeah, have fun, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now. <laughs>